n'est pas mon affaire. Je ne veux ni conquérir ni diriger personne. Je voudrais aider tout le monde dans la mesure du possible. Juifs, chrétiens, païens, blancs et noirs. Nous voudrions tous nous aider. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and happy almost Valentine's Day to you. Today I'm going to be doing two different looks that you can use for Valentine's Day. I'm calling the first one, which is the one I currently have on, fun and flirty. And the second one is more classic and romantic. So this one is much more pink, glittery, fun, sparkly. Not very kissable lips, I did put a little shimmer on them, so if you're kissing your man, I don't know how happy he's going to feel about shimmery lips, but maybe, I don't know. And the second one is a more very soft, subtle cut, cut crease with just a nice dark wing liner and of course a red lip which I guess those aren't very kissable lips either but <laughs> you know whatever he can deal so I'm going to be showing you both of those looks today they're both rather quick and easy just kind of playing with some color I'll show you how I got that all um, coming up right now happy Valentine's Day loves I love you bye I'm starting off with a white eyeshadow primer it's going to work really nicely to make any color I use pop then with my Anastasia Modern Renaissance Palette, I'm taking the color Golden Okra and Warm Taupe, just kind of mixing those two together on a large blending, blending brush. This is the Morphe E22. And I'm applying that on top of my brow bone there, just in little circular motions and windshield wiper motions, just kind of blending it into the primer. Then with the color Tempera, I'm going to use that to highlight my... Uh, brow bone there so just applying it right under where I did my eyebrows then I'm going to take that same brush the Morphe E22 and blend that in with a transition color then with a translucent powder I'm going to make kind of a wing um, on the outside of my eye there that's going to keep any color and glitter from falling then with a flat eyeshadow brush I'm taking tempera and this kind of pink shimmery color from the palette called Vermeer I'm going to apply that onto my lid for the glitter on my lids, I'm going to take a glitter primer, I'm going to take a silver and a pink glitter and kind of mix those two together. I just kind of swirl them around on the table. I'm going to apply the primer to a small concealer brush and then apply that on top of the eyeshadow base that I just made, kind of carve out the crease with it and whatnot, and then just dip that into the silver and rose mix there. You can use whatever color you want, of course. And I'm going to pack that on to the lid until I have a good density. I'm going to kind of work to carve out the crease there. I'm going to take a little bit more primer and apply it to the tip of the concealer brush and take just silver and line my waterline with it a little bit less than halfway from the inner corner. Then I'm going to take Vermeer on my finger and just go over um, the glitter once it's kind of dried. It's just going to kind of tone it down a little bit and give it more of a shimmer. Then with this hot pink color Love Letter and my MAC 221 Small Blending Brush, I'm going to apply that to the crease and also kind of work it to the inner corner and the outer corner and give that glitter um, area a little bit of color. I'm going to take that first blending brush I used, the Morphe E22, and kind of blend that hot pink a little bit into that transition color I first applied just so it doesn't look too crazy. Then whatever's left on the small MAC blending brush, I'm going to apply to my under eye, but then I'm going to take this light lilac color from the palette, Buon Fresco, and line the rest of my waterline with it. And then for my inner corner highlight, I'm using Sierra Nevada, just a very shimmery nude color. And then I'm going to do a wing, but first I'm going to get rid of that powder there that I forgot about. <laughs> For the wing, I'm just doing a very soft, small wing. I want it to just be pretty subtle, pretty girly, nothing too dramatic. And I'm lining my lower waterline with the Lasting Drama Black Eyeliner from Maybelline. Then it's time for falsies. I'm of course going to apply one coat of mascara and apply mascara to my lower lash line. I'm using the Ardell Glamour uh, Black Wispies. They're fun, kind of dramatic, I think perfect for this look. And then I'm going to get into highlighting. I'm using the more pink color from the Tarte Skin Twinkle. Applying that on my cheeks, above my brow bone, my nose, cupid's bow, and chin. I want a good highlight today. 
I'm going to do some hot pink blush. This is Flamingo from Sonia Kashuk. Just applying that to my cheeks as you do with blush. And for the lips, I'm lining them with this light pink pale color. This is um, Seduce from CoverGirl. I'm going to line my lips and also fill in my lips with it to kind of prime the lipstick. The lipstick color today is Coco K from Kylie Cosmetics, just a true pink color that I'm obsessed with right now. To make that lipstick last for all the smooching we may or may not do today, um, I'm going to take a little tissue and just some translucent powder, go over it, just help set it. And then I'm taking this shimmery color, I believe it's called Nude Beach from Bare Minerals, just kind of patting that into the middle of the lips there. I just thought a fun shimmer would be kind of cool, kind of fun, a little different, definitely draw attention to your lips, which, you know, why wouldn't you want to do that on Valentine's Day? It kind of almost looks like a gloss, but I don't know, a little funkier. <laughs> Then just gonna spray some setting spray and we are good to go. That is the final product of the fun and flirty Valentine's Day look. Um, definitely an eye catcher with the glitter and the shimmer and the hot pink will definitely draw some attention to you. So don't be afraid to have fun. Use a little glitter, use a little color. starts off with just a regular eyeshadow primer from Urban Decay, applying that all over the lid. Then with my Morphe palette, I'm using this kind of light brown taupe color and that Morphe E22 brush again. But first, I'm going to use that same method I did before with the um, translucent powder, just kind of applying a wing there. So I'm going to use that taupe color as my transition color, just sweeping it across the very top of my lid there, right near the brow bone. Then with this light off-white color and a flat eyeshadow brush, I'm going to highlight the brow bone, but first, okay, um, I forgot to blend my nose contour before starting this video. I know, I caught it right after, but I did forget, so please let's just ignore that because I look like a crazy person. <laughs> okay, so anyways, I'm applying that color um, to the lid. I think I said brow bone. I meant lid. Oh, and also the brow bone. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Then I'm using this kind of like dark brown, almost gray color, and that small blending brush from MAC, and doing a little V shape on the outer corner. I want a very like soft, subtle, smoky eye here. So just using a very light hand to apply a V and kind of work into the crease there. I'm going to apply a little bit of that same color to a little bit larger blending brush. This is the M433. Just kind of work that into the eye so it's like a natural fade. And then this dark brown, like dark chocolatey color and that same small uh, blending brush, I'm going to take a teeny, teeny, tiny bit and just make that very outer corner of the V a little bit darker. We want kind of like almost an ombre effect here. And we can go ahead and wipe away that translucent powder. I'm going to go back in with that second color I used and apply it to my lower lash line with that Morphe 433 brush. And then take that kind of dark gray brownish color, a smaller blending brush, and apply that to the outer corner of my lower lash line, just working it into the middle there. And then again with that dark chocolate and a slanted, very skinny brush. I'm going to do that to even the more outer corner part there and a little bit onto the top just to deepen it and define it a bit. And I'm doing a very um, kind of thicker dramatic wing here um, going all the way out to meet the corner of my eyebrow there. Keeping it a bit thick. We want it to be a very seductress style here. I don't know. <laughs> just a thick graphic liner. 
For blush, I'm taking this taupe bronzy color from NYX and applying that all over my cheeks. Then I'm going over it with a more subtle um, highlight here. Nothing too crazy like the last look, just to get a little glow going. And then I'm taking a little tiny bit of that hot pink blush that we used before, the Flamingo, and applying that to the apples of my cheeks just to make them look nice and rosy and lively and flush, you know, romantic. And then I'm going to apply false lashes. I'm using those same Ardell um, Glamour Wispies here. I think they look really good with this look as well. And for lipstick, I'm using the Revlon 305. It's called Hot Passion. It's just like a true fire engine red. Like that is what you want is a true red. Nothing too dark, nothing too cool tone. Red, red, red. <laughs> And of course, set the whole look with a setting spray, and you are good to go, looking super classically romantic. So that's it for my two Valentine's Day looks. I hope you guys enjoyed. I would love to hear which one you prefer, which one is more your style. So please like, comment, and subscribe down below. Let me know what you thought, and happy Valentine's Day. I love, 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 love you. Thank you all so much for watching.